Constantine, H-E-B Cooking Connection, BK's with the, uh, you always bring a nice spread, Steve. Thank but you. I think we've, we're you. blowing it out even more than normal every time, today, right? Every time. This is, this is bigger yeah. than usual. What are Definitely. we doing today? So this year we're uh, doing our annual Hatch Chili Fest, mm -hmm. or this year we're calling it Pepper Pachanga. Okay. So like we're it. broadening the spectrum of what we're offering mm -hmm. uh, yeah. with all things peppers. So it's a, it's a big pepper party this year. And there's so many different kinds of peppers. Now, I love them all. Definitely. But what, what do we got here today? So we still in Austin, of course, we're still representing the Hatch Chilies. That's one of the biggest Absolutely. draws of the, the party. Mm -hmm. um, so we made a couple different things today. We've got some different hatch chili products on sale. Um, so we've got the fresh hatch chilies here, the roasted hatch chilies, and we're going to be utilizing those in our recipes throughout all the different HEBs. Okay. As well as here today, we've got our green chili stew is one of my favorite products. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, I don't believe I've used it here on any of the yeah. segments, yeah. but it's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, it's made here in Austin by mm -hmm. the Cookwell and Company. Uh, it's all natural, gluten-free, really healthy, and it's made with the roasted hatch chilies. And what you always point out, too, is depending on how you want to do it, if you want to buy the fresh peppers and go mm -hmm. that way, but yeah. if you don't have much time, you want some else, yeah. so many of these great products will I'm busy. Do I go it for too. convenience. Yeah. Or you I can love use them this, both. this hatch chili season. We've had several really good recipes so yep. far, and we're just adding to the list today. Good, good. So many things you can do with them. Good. So, so, what, so what today we what we did with the green chili stew, very simple, four mm -hmm. ingredients. Basically, we used the green chili stew mix. Mm -hmm. We added some pork carnitas, which mm -hmm. is basically pork butt, just chopped up into chunks Absolutely. for convenience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we threw that, that in the crock pot, exactly, with the green chili stew, a little seasoning, and then a little bit of our Central Market chicken broth. Okay. From there, you just let that slow cook all day long. Or, and over, or overnight, like you say. Or those. overnight, yeah. that works. That's, again, what I did today. Way to wake you up early. Yep, yep. <laughs> so then shred it apart, take all the meat out of the crock pot, shred uh -huh. it up, and utilize those leftover juices and put that back in your pulled pork to oh, uh, retain yeah. moisture and then also a lot of flavor. Okay. okay. Um, from there, you can throw it in a corn tortilla, and you've got awesome pulled pork, but yes. since it's Hatch Chili Fest, we're going to do it big again. We're going to make a hatch pepper uh, coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I love it. So very simple. Uh, basically, we've got our HB coleslaw kit right here. This is uh, basically cabbage. There's carrots and then also some uh, red cabbage in there. Okay. So that comes up. with everything you need Correct. already. But then the cool thing is it has this little creamy dressing, mm -hmm. which is creamy and slightly sweet. Okay. And I always like to use that, but when I add other things to it, um, you know, I'll add in some extra flavor with our That's where hatch. the real fun comes in. You exactly. play with it a little bit. So this yeah, is a good base. Here? So here we've got our Robert's Reserve. This is a hatch chili jalapeno mm. jam. Mm. Basically this right now at the Cooking Connection is on sale. They're, they're uh, buy one, get one free. Love it. So I'm gonna throw in stuff. two big spoonfuls, two tablespoons of that into I was our, hoping you'd get to these jalapenos but, over here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so. wow. So these are our hot hatch peppers. We're oh, gonna save that for sure. oh, okay. sangria. Hot hatch. But basically we're gonna cut up some of these mild hatch peppers mm -hmm. and then throw that into our coleslaw. I'm going to use two of them, throw it in, mix it up, and then we're going to be good to go. We're going to have that uh, beautiful slaw that you see on top of our pulled pork. I yeah. love this take on coleslaw because you're just adding so many other mm. flavors to mm -hmm. it. I already love coleslaw, but then you're adding, you know, a little spice, the peppers. Thank you. And I'm showing my pepper good. ignorance here, calling those jalapenos uh -huh. the hatch peppers. Mm -hmm. They're kind of close all in the same family? or uh, they're The really, hatch peppers... They work a lot. They have so oh, so they're much bigger. Yeah, they definitely are much bigger. So the hatch pepper is related to the Anaheim pepper. It's a, a bigger, longer pepper that's okay. grown in Southern California and Mexico. Mm -hmm. But this pepper is, is, is what makes it hatch is that it's grown in the Hatch New Mexico yeah. Valley. Okay. So okay. just like Napa Valley is the premier valley for growing grapes, some of the best grapes, Hatch the Valley in New Mexico okay. is the best uh, best terroir, the best soil, the best mm -hmm. climate, the really? best amount okay. of rainfall. Known, known for those chilies. For those exactly, for chilies. growing this type of pepper. Okay. So from there, we've got two peppers mixed in there. We're just going to mix this all up together. So we've got our three ingredients, very easy. And then from there, that's our hatch pepper oh, yeah. coleslaw go. that we right have here. You can't beat that. Okay. okay. So some other hatch pepper ideas. You can also use the same Robert's Reserve hatch chili jam that I mm -hmm. used in the slaw. Yeah. You can use it on cream cheese as an appetizer. I love that idea. Someone that's a at great... this table may have already sampled uh, yes, that. Well, if Steve's going to leave food out, you know better than that by now. And one of our other chefs at my uh, at the Bee Cave HEB, he utilized that and he mixed it with cream cheese, stuffed a hatch pepper, oh, wrapped it in hatch man. pepper bacon, oh. and okay. then basically oh. used a little bit more as a final topper of final glaze and, and that then, was wow. really really good and then before we let you know mm -hmm. go you're gonna make some sangria with yeah. the, yes. the hatch peppers with the hot so, hatch peppers so too. Sweet, sweet and spicy cocktails has kind yeah. of been a new thing uh -huh. it's something fun so we're gonna use a half of a hot hatch 
pepper with lemonade. I've got lemonade in here, frozen mangoes. Okay. And then this is one of my favorite wines. It's a Primo Mazzo. It's a Moscato di Asti from Italy. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're just going to add that in there. So it's you've got, got a little kind of sweet white wine in there. You've got some fruit, and then you're adding and the spice exactly. with, the, with the hot hatch chilies. I like that so idea. So perfect little sweet and spicy mm -hmm. uh, cocktail to pair with your uh, green chili carnitas. Perfect end of summer. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Little party ideas we have here for you. Those yeah. are great ideas. So and definitely uh, stop by HEB. Again, we've got uh, roasted hatch peppers in your produce department and it's just a big old pepper party yeah. this year. Yeah. So. Any way you want to do them. All right, Steve, thank you so much. We thank appreciate it as always.